Sunday Boho is a fake activist. Dikbo Abiodu should step down as the governor. Our youth demand. <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> this country is a joke. Do you know who the Awe Youth is? It's a coalition of a northern group who call themselves this association name. Okay? So they are adv they are advocating for Fulani headsmen. Nobody cares about the life and property that has been destroyed in the south. And why Fulani is all of a sudden has become a terrorist. They are not calling them their real names. So they, 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 I don't know. All of a sudden. I don't know how cow business became a national issue. Cow. Somebody has his trade. That is to tell you something. That there is more to it than beneath the eyes. And you are just watching. You know, there is a popular adage in Nigeria that says, you, the, as, the more you look, the less you see. Uh-huh. That's what's happening in Nigeria. You are looking at President Muhammad Buhari as a human being. That he not, no, he's, he's a cow lover. He's emotionally attached. So the governor should resign for you in the north. Because let's get on straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. God bless you. Sunday Boho, a fake activist, Dick Bo, a Biodun should step down as the governor, our youth demand. Few days after Sondo Boho allegedly destroyed Fulani Hetzman settlement, the Awe United Conservative Forum has called out the governor of Ogun State. Prince Dikbo Abiodun to step down as the governor for his inability to secure and protect the lives and property of the headsmen in the state. The headsmen, the headsmen, not Nigerians, the headsmen. Take note, the headsmen. The Northern Group went further to condemn popular Yoruba activist Sondo Boho for standing as a barrier to the operation of the Fulani headsmen activities in the West and for allegedly destroying properties owned by the Fulani settlers earlier in the week. The message to the governor of Ogun State was contained in a statement issued by the president of the Northern Group, Halaji Sabua Danska in Lagos. According to the group, the governor has proved proven to be incompetent, allowing someone from another state to come and do his job on security. He cannot protect the Fulani headsmen in his state. He cannot make sure that they are secured. Therefore, he has no reason being the governor of the state. He should step down. Sondo Boho has now become their tool to be using. We will deal with him. He is a fake activist and is causing barriers to the Fulanese in the West. We are ready for him. We will get him when the time comes. But for now, we want the governor, Abiodun, to step down. He is not a real man. If he's a real man, he will protect Fulanese in his state. He will know that the Fulanese matter. They are a big part of the nation and should be looked after. If they are in your land, you are privileged to have them. So you don't go about asking people to send them away. If he's a real man, he should protect the Fulanese. Is he not aware? that Nigeria belongs to everybody, why would he send activists to come after the Fulanese? We are ready for him. He is not a real man. Can you imagine? So they want the governor of the state, eh? their wish and their, desi their desire is that the governor of the state should resign because of their own personal selfish interest. Where do you hear that from? He did not mention that lives and property has been destroyed as a result of Fulani activity. No, no mention to that. No mention whatsoever. The one that is mostly concerned about is the fact that Fulani headsmen have been uh, have been Fulani headsmen has been denied uh, past pastures to 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 Greece. Excuse me. When has this become a national issue? When has this become an issue that everyone should now be concerned about. These people are committing atrocity. Can the government, can nobody put them in order? You know why? The presidency is aiding them. Everybody is aiding them. Everybody is telling them that they are the jewel of the nation. Okay? Your president loves them. Everybody loves them. And if, you know, if they don't uh, get their way, then the people are as good as, uh, as good as gone. Can you imagine the infantry? Can you imagine can you imagine? So this group now, from where they are seated, are coming to Ogun State to say uh, Ogun governor must do ABC. Can you imagine? 
See, Nigerians, we all need to stand up. And Dikbo, you know, Governor Dikbo, Prince Dikbo, needs to also stand up as well. You know, he openly denied Sunday, telling the, the when Sunday finally came to help the people that have been, you know, uh, people that have been uh, uh, treated this way. You know, he openly denied the, the denied Sunday, saying that Sunday did not uh, he did not invite Sunday. He did not invite Sunday. That Sunday should be Sunday. He did not invite Sunday. That was what he openly said to everybody, to everyone who can hear that he did not uh, invite Sunday. You know, although he denied Sunday, but Sunday still went there to help the people. We understand that. We understand what is called political correctness. We understand that you know these people they know what they are doing. And if he does not, uh, if he does not, if he does not say that, they might come after him. You know, I, I, they, they might come after him. I, I don't know what ties. I don't understand what the governors of the South, what they are so afraid of, and that, that they don't, that they will not be able to speak the truth. I don't know what they're afraid of, especially governors of the South. It's like there is, you know, somebody once called the governors of the South, the Fulanese uh, servants. We don't know what they're afraid of, you know, but God knows and God will deliver them because they cannot speak the truth, even in the face that their people are being destroyed, even in the face of all that is going on. You know, the governors of the South, with, with 19 of them, will sit down and make their own decision and just talk. And nobody is protecting those in the, in the, in the South. All the governors of the South just feel, just, either they are looking for, either they are looking to become president, they have their own personal ambition, they have one thing or the other, they are looking forward to, so they cannot all speak. Look at what happened recently in Edo State. A man came home to celebrate with his family. A man came home to celebrate with his family. A man came home. Going, going back to the airport, he was kidnapped. How do you reconcile that? How do you explain that? Not just kidnapped. If he was just kidnapped, at least we will thank God that he's still alive. He was killed in the process. Eh? Even uh, uh, Nigerians in the diaspora have reacted. So if you hear that, do you want to come home to do what? Do you want to bring your children home to do what? And this is our home where everybody should be able to come home, be happy, you know, to, to relate with other family members, re, you know, reunite, have a lovely time. You know, those that they have, they've not seen their children, able to say, oh, look at your, our children, though they are abroad, but they are here. And what have you? You understand? All these things. How do we reconcile that? Because of cattle. Because we are allowing evil. Guys, leave us a comment. So God will bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. We truly appreciate you. Have a lovely day. And don't forget you have a voice. Please use it. Don't allow yourself or anyone to intimidate you. God bless you. Bye for now.